Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Now I've talked a lot over the last few months about the soaring rates of heart attacks, strokes, other cardiovascular events occurring across Western countries. And this was a trend for a long time, even before 2020, due in no small part to the terrible Western lifestyle of processed junk foods and being very sedentary. And sadly, this lifestyle is now taking hold across Eastern countries as well. We have to reverse this soon. Nevertheless, over the last couple of years, we've seen further steep rises in heart attacks in particular that I've spoken about at length. And it's very sad to see all of the headlines all of the time. Take a look at this headline from the Bay Area, California. Heart attack deaths soar in younger group since start of pandemic, according to a study. And indeed, across a whole host of Western countries. Here's Australia. Fatal heart attacks have surged in Australia. This article was from the end of January. And what could be worse than younger and younger people suffering from fatal heart attacks? But rest assured, our mainstream establishment, whether it's the medical establishment or the mainstream media, is truly on top of things. Let's look at all of the reasons why people, especially at younger ages, are now having heart attacks. Eggs. Eating eggs is a big problem and risk factor for heart attacks. So I guess I'm in huge trouble then because I eat multiple eggs every day. They are a superfood. They are a complete food full of great nutrients. But apparently eggs are a problem. How about this one? Too much exercise. Never mind the fact that for most people out there, 99% plus, the problem is too little exercise. Let's push a narrative that too much exercise is causing heart attacks. Artificial sweeteners. Now, I talked about this in a recent video. Artificial anything is bad news, but artificial sweeteners now appear to be a cause of heart attacks. So be very careful. And of course, the favorite one, climate change, because climate is so different, isn't it, from a few decades ago. Summer is no longer summer. Winter is no longer winter. Climate change is causing heart attacks. And linked to that, air pollution. I made a video about that recently as well. Air pollution appears to be triggering heart attacks. That's what data from some countries is saying, according to the mainstream media. What about this one? Women who have children too young. Never mind the fact that the whole of evolutionary biology is designed for the female of the species to basically have children as soon as possible, at least in nature. And that's how things worked up until relatively recently for human beings. Our grandparents, great grandparents all had children much younger than today. But apparently now the evidence is that having children too young causes heart attacks. Holiday stress. Everybody gets so stressed around Thanksgiving and Christmas because it's so stressful, isn't it? That causes heart attacks. What about drinking coffee? That is huge. So many people drink coffee now. That's triggering heart attacks. Asthma, a condition which is rife across the Western world, especially closer to big cities with air pollution, Asthma is now linked to more heart attacks. How about changing the clocks? We recently underwent a time change in the United States. Do you know that that causes heart attacks? And more and more and more. All of these different theories and hypotheses being reported by the mainstream media. But we have a clown establishment. We have a clown medical leadership. We have a clown mainstream media. They always want to divert our attention away from what matters. They aren't talking about everything that's happened, especially over the last couple of years related to the pandemic, lockdowns, other pandemic related factors, which are contributing to this very obvious rise in heart attacks and younger and younger people suffering. But let's not focus on that. Let's divert attention away with anything possible and all of these other ridiculous theories. That's all I've got to say about that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks everyone for listening. Check out my online academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Master your metabolic health and beat the establishment. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. Take care everyone. Have a great weekend and we will chat again very soon.